Someone needs to tell Messy Mandy I am not her personal lady's maid. Black hair dye all over the sink. Looks like the inside of a coal miner's bathhouse. <laughs> Oi, you stay away from them places. Don't want my wife ogling a load of grubby miners. I've never been inside a coal mine, although I do have a very vivid imagination. Not that I've got a thing for dirty men. <laughs> you sure? I can get naked and roll around in mud if you like. <laughs> <laughs> We're stood right here. I know. Do you want brew? What's up? A witness has come forward. The hit and run, who? Don't know that or what they saw, but it's got to be promising. Is, uh, is Belle okay? She didn't come home last night. My bad, I went too far. At least Jamie hadn't had me arrested yet. Bella never let that happen. Can't believe she stood by him yesterday. Oh, don't blame her. I shouldn't have lost it. No, you shouldn't have. You could take away your livelihood and you've got a baby on the way now. It's Bella needs a reality check. Maybe we should just let this thing with Jamie run its course and then Belle can learn from her mistakes. But she never learns from her mistakes. She's picked a wrong gun again. Maybe I'm being daft, but you don't think it could be her voices again, you know, steering her off course? No, she's got her meds for that. We need Belle here, where we can see her. I don't want Jamie manipulating her 24-7. I'm off to work in a bit. I'll, I'll talk to her. Good luck with that. She thinks she loves him. She's a dingle. She'll put family first. She'll be back here for tea time. You'll see. Just calm down, Mum, OK? It's only a wing mirror. And I called the dealership to book it in and the insurance are going to pay for it, so... Well, yeah, I could have had Nate arrested, but do I really want him talking to the police? No, there's no physical evidence, but... I mean, look, if both him and Belle came forward, it'd be their word against mine. And of course Belle's fully on board. Because she stood up to her family yesterday when they were kicking off and it really wasn't easy for her. I'm actually thinking of taking our relationship to the next level. And no, I do not want your input on that. I... Yeah, I've got to go. OK. Bye. You want to take our relationship to the next level? How? I was just explaining to Mum that... knowing I can count on you no matter what, it means the world, so... Sir? I was thinking maybe you could move in here with me permanently. Wow. Are you sure? I mean, we work together every day. Is it not a bit soon? You haven't changed your mind since yesterday. No, of course not. Nate was out of order. Look, I love you. OK, and I want you here. But it has to be just you and me, above anyone else. Like, I, I won't part with Mum interfering, but are you willing to turn your back on your family? I love you too. And I will put us before anyone else if I have to. I'd love to move in. Can't say I'm looking forward to telling the family, though. Hey, got something easy for dinner. Great. Paddy's covering the surgery this afternoon, so I thought we could take the rest of the day off. Oh, does he not need me on reception? Well, no, he's only got a few phone consultations booked in, said he could manage. I thought maybe we could go on a walk, or take a picnic upstairs, recreate nine and a half weeks. Don't worry, it's a dodgy old film. And actually, on second thoughts, I'm not sure Lydia would be best pleased if we'd stain the sheets with strawberries. Well? Sorry, um, I need to go home later. I've got to pick all my stuff up and tell them all. You're letting them know, not asking their permission. There's a big difference. But it's still going to be horrible. Sorry. You two having a tiff? No, not that it's any of your business. Are you going to come back home tonight? I know things were said, but we're family. We stick together. I've not forgotten that, Sammy. Don't rush in this time. He cheated on his wife. And what if he goes back to it again? It was really hard for him to end his marriage. But he chose me and we're for keeps. I'm moving in for good now. So they're not our kind of people. So they're just used folk like us. And we're worth ten of them. He's just a spoilt little rich kid. And he'll get bored of you. What was that, Sam? It was nothing. He's just been a protective big brother. Look, I care about your sister. OK, and I won't have you or any of her family trying to manipulate her. Me? Take a look at yourself. I mean it, Sam. I won't stand by and see her get hurt. The only one who's going to do that's you. She can't see that right now, but we can. Sammy, just apologise. I've got to be sorry for her. I'm looking out for you, telling it how it is. No, you're not. 
You're offering your opinion, which is unsolicited and wrong. Come on. He just spoke out a turn. You know he's not good with words. Well, he seemed pretty articulate when he was character assassinating me earlier. You think you're better than us. Like there's some nobility in poverty. You're just a bunch of petty criminals, so don't you dare try and take the high ground with me. Nate should have given you a good kicking, never mind your poxy car. Nice. You're not good enough for my sister. You're married with a kid and you're a liar and a cheat. She can do way better than that you. That is enough. I'm happy. Why can't you accept that? You keep falling for these posh boys, but they've got no spine and they just, they just mess you up. Why have you got such a chip on your shoulder? Because one minute it's Andrea and the next minute it's our Belle. You, you don't know what you want. I made a mistake, OK, but I put things right. You broke her heart. Now you're trying to turn her against her own family. Look, Belle is an adult, but none of you seem to see that. She can make her own decisions, can't you? What happens when he gets fed up here, like he did Andrea? I won't stand by and watch. So don't, then. Look, nobody's forcing you to work here, Sam. If you don't like it, you know what you can do. In fact, you know what? Go on, get out. You're fired. Now we see your true colours. Don't like hearing the truth so he gets rid and he'll do the same to you next. Where do you get off talking to us like this? All right. She's just going to let him sack us for standing up to him. You've brought this on yourself, Sammy. Jamie's right, just get out.